Oh my god, pray for me. bit of a different setup today. I'm hoping this video is going up in like the next four hours. You're seeing this real time. It is 7.54 on the, what day is it today? Thursday the 13th of August. I know this isn't the best setup because my window's behind me, but this is where my computer is. And as you can guess from the title, I need my computer because today I am doing my live reaction to my A-level results. I'm shitting myself for any people that are new and have found me through this video. I'm going to Lippa to study BA Acting for Screen and Digital Media. And the whole point of drama school is it's more kind of audition based and you still need certain grade requirements to get your place confirmed. But um, like I said, the grade requirements are usually a lot lower at drama schools because um, it's not a given that everyone is gonna be super academic. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna check UCAS first because I feel like that doesn't give me much reassurance. That just means I've got two Cs. And my predicted grades were an A and two Bs, which I would just, I would cry if I got. I just want my predicted, so that's literally all I want. Also, these and this is because of the stress of today. A disclaimer before I react, I've got three minutes. <gasps> Oh my god, pray for me. I said this in my GCSE results video, however the circumstances are slightly different because in my GCSE results video I did like what I got for my GCSEs, I didn't do a live reaction, I went to school and opened them with my mum and then came home and filmed the video. So I knew what I, I, I'd got, I collected my thoughts, I was, I was so over the moon. Um, but obviously with this one, I don't really know how I'm going to react because it is a live reaction, I don't know if I'm going to be disappointed or if I'm going to be happy. Um, so this is a really important disclaimer for me that I feel like I need to make. Success is relative and someone might get three A stars and be over the moon. Someone might get three Bs and be over the moon, but equally someone might get three Bs and be really disappointed or someone could be really happy with a D's a pass. So someone could be happy with just all D's and for someone else, um, they could be disappointed with that because everyone is striving for different goals and you can't compare yourself to other people. And how I feel about my results, if you have similar results and you're disappointed and I feel really happy, or if you have similar results and you're really, really happy about it, and I seem really disappointed. Remember that success is relative. Me being disappointed with a result doesn't mean it's a bad result, it just means it was not what I was striving for and hoping to get. But like I said, it doesn't mean that it's a bad grade for someone else to get. Be proud of yourself no matter what because the class of 2020 hasn't had it easy. And also to all of you GCSE students who are potentially watching this that get your results next week, I wish you the best of luck. It's eight o'clock, fuck. Well, I've not had an email. Let's sign into UCAS. Oh, brilliant, now my Wi-Fi is gonna be really slow. I'm already feeling like I'm gonna cry. I cry with every single emotion. Right, I don't know if it's because so many people are logging into UCAS that it's being slow or it's just my Wi-Fi has decided that when I most need it, it's gonna fail on me because my Wi-Fi is shit. Oh my God, this is a joke I signed in three minutes ago. I've been sat here for three minutes waiting for this fucking blue bar. Why is it not working? My camera's flashing. Hold on, I'm gonna switch over to my vlog camera. Right, we're on the vlog camera. This camera's really bad in terms of focus and stuff, so hopefully. Oh my God, my email's come through. about French. I got a B in English literature, which was what was predicted, an A in French, which I was predicted a B, and an A in drama, which I was predicted. <sighs> um, for French, when our exams got cancelled, this battery is flashing as well, I think I've got a spare one in case it dies. When we found out our exams were cancelled, I was really upset because I just felt like I was never going to know my potential. Like I said, I was predicted a B in English, a B in French, an A in drama, and I 
was really hoping for a B in English because I really struggled with that and I worked so hard over the last two years for that result. <laughs> I worked so hard to get that B in English and I was so scared they were gonna give me a C. Oh my God, I'm so happy with that. But my French, I was like I said, I was predicted a B. I got a B in my mock and normally you go up a grade from your mock and French, I was so happy with being predicted a B at the time, but then as kind of months went on and it got closer and closer to the exams, I thought, I reckon I can really push for an A. And I'd said this to my teacher on the last day, I was like, I'm just so frustrated because I don't want to get a B in French and potentially if I'd done the exam and really worked hard, I could have got an A and I'll never know if I could have got one. And I've got one. <laughs> and then drama, I got an A. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> I worked so hard for that B in English. I was so glad I got that B because I was scared they were going to give me a C. <laughs> because I did so much extra work over the last two years just for that B. I went to my teacher so many times. I did like literally like dozens and dozens of extra essays last year because I just really struggled with the jump from GCSE to A level. You deserve that, Caitlin. You deserve that. I'm so glad I got that A in French. Yeah, that's your backup plan, okay? <laughs> I can't believe I got that A in French. I wanted that. I was saying to the camera, I was explaining why I'm crying the most stuff over that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna um, come back in like five minutes to this. I'm just gonna take this in with my parents. Hi. So, I've taken everything in. I'm gonna round this video off. I'm gonna try and edit it now and get it up before I go on with my day because it's currently. 22 minutes past eight, so hopefully I can get this up in the next like two hours. Um, I am gonna go into school. I think there's a couple of teachers that might be there, but everything is socially distanced. And like I said, we all have 15 minute time slots. So hopefully I can get it done before I go into school. But yeah, oh, I'm just over the moon. I'm so glad I got that A in French because I knew if I'd done the exam, I could have got that. Like I had so much faith in myself, which I never really do. I could have got that grade and I thought I didn't stand a chance because I wasn't sitting the exam. Thank you for watching this video. I hope everyone is super happy with their results. Regardless, you should be so proud because the circumstances certainly haven't made this easy for us. And at least we're all standing here today. If you enjoyed this video, I guess, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I very much appreciate it. And other than that, I have nothing else to say Say, but I will see you very soon with another video and I think now marks the kind of rest of my videos will all be moving videos or regarding my move to Liverpool which is in four weeks and three days so yeah I will see you all very soon bye